All right, guys, welcome back. What we are going to learn today is how to integrate Nexus with uh, CS Server Jenkins. Okay. Um, in the previous video, we learned how to set up Nexus on Red Hat Linux. And this video, we are going to learn how to actually integrate Nexus with Jenkins. So this is the use case, right? So we all know that Nexus is a repo manager, which can be used for storing binaries, artifacts and whatnot. And, um, you know, it can be very well integrated with Jenkins, which is a continuous integration server. So every time a developer pushes the code change into code repository, uh, Jenkins will actually run the build. Uh, it will run uh, necessary scan. Finally, it will upload the artifact into Nexus. So Nexus actually uses um, kind of a local uh, file storage. Um, again, this is also a Java based tool. Uh, and then once it is, uh, you know, uh, stored in Nexus, Jenkins can actually do the deployment into whichever the environment. Okay. So this is what we are going to learn. Okay. All right. So if you look at my AWS console, I do have both the Nexus and Jenkins up and running. And um, let's get started. I also have my instructions documented in uh, my website coachdevops.com. So you can definitely go through it. So let's quickly see the steps. So first of all, you have to install this plugin in Jenkins. It's pretty straightforward. Okay, the plugin name is Nexus Artifact Uploader. Once you install the plugin, uh, you have to log into Jenkins and then uh, you can either use one of your freestyle job, existing freestyle job, or you can also create a new job. Okay, um, and uh, once you do that, you'll have to actually go under build step. You'll have to choose this um, option nexus Art artifact uploader once you choose that option uh, then you know you'll have to enter nexus information okay it's pretty straightforward you know it should not be that difficult and then once it is done once you save the configuration when you run the build you would actually see that if everything is good you know you should be able to see the war file which is uploaded in nexus okay all right guys so let's get started so like I said, uh, this is my uh, Nexus and this is my Jenkins. So I'm going to first log into Jenkins. I'm going to start with plugin installation. So manage Jenkins, manage plugins and go under available tab. Look for Nexus artifact. Okay, so this is the one. This is what we have to install. Click on that one and then say install without restart. Okay, so my plugin is installed, pretty good. So go to Jenkins. Let's say this is a job I actually wanted to invoke, um, you know, Nexus, right? So basically I'm building a war file in this uh, particular job. I wanted to upload the war file into Nexus. So what you'll have to do, click on the job, go to configure and then go under build. Okay, and then under add build step, you'll have to click on this option nexus artifact uploader and then you'll have to fill in this information as you know that we used nexus uh, 3 version and leave the protocol as it is let's copy our nexus url which is this okay uh, yeah i think that's what it is i'm just making sure perfect okay and then let's put that url here you don't have to put HTTP because you already mentioned the protocol there and your credential. Um, so our credentials are nothing but uh, I think we already set up admin, admin one, two, three. Okay. So I'm going to say updated Nexus credential. I'm going to mention today's date. Okay. Add. And then I'm going to select that option. Okay. And then the group ID. Um, so if you see which um, web app I'm going to integrate is, you know, this particular uh, project. And if you actually look at under build uh, part, this is my web app, right? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to actually, uh, you know, you can mention any name. It doesn't matter. A version is 1.0. I'm going to use the snapshot so you'll have to say that and then the repo name is maven snapshots and then add um, our artifact id is my web app type is obviously is a war file 
you can leave classifier empty not a problem and then under file if you see that where Jenkins is actually keeping the war file it is actually keeping under that particular location okay so and then I'm actually giving that that's it so you know if in your case if your application is uh, an application or web app application name is something else you'll have to give that okay so and accordingly your path will vary okay all right so apply save so let's go ahead and run the job okay let's click on the console output wow Wow, look at that looks like you know it has been successfully uploaded and you can also log into Nexus if you go under browse if you go to Maven snapshots look at that see here we are able to see our version right so I already I, I also did earlier but you know we are able to see that if I go ahead you know and uh, kick start the build one more time you will also see one more entry as well okay. So that's what snapshot means right based on the time you know it is going to keep on uh, creating with that particular version now see here we are able to see different different um, warfi entry okay that's all guys you know that's how you actually integrate uh, nexus with jenkins thank you for watching